Hi loves, this is my tutorial for contouring and highlighting. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, uh, concerns, whatever, feel free, leave it in the inbox, comment below. All right guys, we're gonna start. First, we are going to contour. So I'm gonna grab a bronzer. I'm gonna grab this matte bronzer. It's by uh, NYX and it's in deep tan. And I'm going to grab a smaller um, fluffy brush. See, this one's kind of small. Uh, this one I got in a package set. I, I got it at Cosmo Proof, but I think you can get it at Sally's now. Um, so yeah, let's move on. So this is kind of bad, I'm kind of embarrassed because it's almost out, but whatever, it's doing the job. This is the color, it's really, really dark. So if your bronzer is broken like that, what I like to do is um, it has the mirror on top. So not to get clumps in it, what I do, that's why it looks so, the mirror looks so funny. Even though it's broken and it's going everywhere. But anyway, I dab it into the crud. And I go into the mirror and I pat it down and I do it like in a swirl. So it's evenly distributed throughout the, um, the brush. And then you still want to give it a little... You know, just to make sure the excess is off. So then you're gonna grab it, you're gonna start with your cheekbone, this, this thing right here. Always feel to make sure that's the bottom of the uh, your cheekbone. I don't know. So then you go like this. My ears are pretty fab. Special shout out to my aunt. She got me these in Brazil. Love them. Oh my God, here we go with this phone. It never stops. Never. Okay, guys. Then we're gonna do our temples, which is up here. Uh, I like to go in circular motions. I don't know why. I just feel like it blends as you apply. Sure you go to your hairline, even if you get it in your hair, it's fine. Then you're only gonna brush this top part of your forehead. I know, a lot of women get bronzer happy. I used to until I started contouring. Right here. My fabulous hair in my way. <laughs> Okay, next, you're gonna do all this underneath. Especially for the bigger girls, you wanna give it a, 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 a shadow so it looks like you're smaller underneath here. And then, I like my, um, especially if you have a round face, what you wanna do next is get the bronzing in here so your chin looks more defined, more chiseled, and it gives it a more of a, you know, shapely appearance. So right, even on the top and underneath. Just a little bit. That's pretty much it. This is also fun uh, for Halloween. If you want to look like an old lady, you start doing this. And you can start doing like little tiny creases and make them darker with a pencil. Over here you can make uh, uh, smile lines and it'll look really cool. Anyways, it's far from Halloween, but whatever. I figured I would try. Next is highlighting. Uh, you're going to need any concealer. 
Um, but what I'm gonna do is this is BH Cosmetics Concealer and Fair. Um, I like it because it is a thick consistency and it lasts longer. But what I do is I also uh, mix it with liquid concealer. Um, this one's from BH Cosmetics and Fair, and then this one is um. Fit Me by Maybelline and also unfair. So let me fix this crazy here. So we're gonna start off with the eye, you're gonna put it underneath your eyes. And you're gonna work at a triangular motion. Even all the way out there. I'm gonna give a really chiseled feature, especially if you don't have chiseled features. You don't have to put that much of this because you're just gonna go back with it in the with the liquid. You're gonna put it on your chin a little bit, like all that. On your angel's peak. I don't know, I forgot the name of that thing. Then just one line up your nose, then you're gonna fan out. When you look like a crazy person trying to be in a tribe, then that's when you know you're doing it right. <laughs> now I'm gonna go back with my liquid. Um, the liquid is also easier to blend out because that's so tough to blend out. This is, once it gets mixed together, it's so much easier to just blend out with the sponge or your finger. If that's something you're considering, you don't have to use the, uh, the, um, the harder kind. And then with the liquid, what I also like to use, if it's been like a while since I have it in my eyebrows, I do it here at the end. Just so my eyebrow looks more defined. And then it looks like I did my eyebrows because um, it like bleaches out the little hairs that are out. Ta -da! Yeah, that's it. Now we're gonna blend out. You can start off with your chin. So if you get to this point, you're like, this is too wide, what's going on? You need to keep blending. So keep, keep blending. And then your widow's peak. I don't. I don't know. Can someone comment below what this is? I don't. Uh, I have no idea what that's called. I forgot. Well, your nose just go up and down. Don't try not to spread it outwards because we still have to contour our nose, and I haven't done that. Let's contour our nose before I forget. <laughs> um, I like to contour my nose just because it gives a smaller appearance and it looks so wide. Um, so again, you're gonna go with that bronzer and a smaller brush you can even squish it so it's flat and you want to go all the way from your eyebrow bone down you see here um some people are really uncomfortable with this step because they feel like they can see the harsh line but you can't because um even if you look on your pictures you see there's always gonna be a shadow here so even if it's darker, you're, it's not it's not gonna be noticeable. Like, oh my gosh, she put so much makeup on her nose. No, because it's just gonna look like a shadow. See, I just lost ten pounds. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> okay, blending up, blending up, blending up. And you don't have to use as much product as I do. I just like to, I'm a makeup artist. I like to, you know, look really, really, really over the top of my hair. Really, really over done. You can use a lot less product than I'm using. Oh, I hate this thing right here.
Now underneath our eyes. I like to put it on my eyes. The more product you have on your eyes, whether it's foundation and concealer, then you put your primer and then your eyeshadow base, the more product you have on your eyes, the smoother and less flaky and less creasy your eyeshadow is going to look. Down all the way down to your lips. Now we're going to blend out our uh, contour with a fluffy brush. And you're going to blend up, not blending down because this part here you can also highlight with, um, with the white stuff if you want because it needs to look lighter so your cheekbone looks more defined and more big um, if you want. And you can swipe over everywhere. Okay. Now this next uh, step, you don't have to do it. I do it because I like to do it. Um, especially my makeup lasts longer. I just like it. It's um, setting my um, my highlight. So I have the banana eye powder. And banana. Um, if you're lighter, uh, there's uh, two other kinds. Um, there's one with a pinkier tint to it. I don't remember the name. I'm sorry. Um, you also don't have to get the big bottle. I got the big bottle because I do this for a living and, you know, the smaller one is like this big. Um, the pinkier one is for people that are lighter. They're more fair skin. And then this one is for olive skin. And then the one for darker skinned. I don't remember. Sorry. But yeah. So what I do is this is really messy. It's like a powder substance thing. I put it just in the cap, and then with the with the uh, pointy part of my uh, of my blender, I just dab it. You put it on your eye as well if you'd like. You want to press down fairly hard just so it you literally get it in on your little pores and creases and whatnot. And once again, I forgot my nose. <laughs> I'm going to blend out this um, contour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and I am done. That was it. Um, I hope it was helpful. The first couple times you guys do this, it is going to be a little uncomfortable and awkward, especially if you're not used to this much makeup. Um, you're going to look at yourself like, oh, this is weird. But don't worry, it's going to look beautiful. You guys are going to love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what else you guys want to see. I'm working on more stuff. Um, I want to thank everyone for my support. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Veleza underscore V. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the love. Mwah.